हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू लेसन नंबर सिक्स वी आर स्टार्टिंग इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर दिस इज़ द फोर्थ वीडियो ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर लेसन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज़ वॉट आर द चेंजेज इन क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न इन द कॉन्टेक्सट ऑफ चेंजिंग कंजम्पन एंड मार्केटिंग कंडीशन इन आर कंट्री ओके सो वी हैव सीन वॉट आर क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न हाउ दे हैव इवॉल्व हिस्टोरिकली बट हियर विल फोकस स्पेसिफिकली ऑन changes in cropping pattern because of changes in consumption pattern of the people and also the marketing conditions okay these two factors will study first here so first of all let us see what are the uh, changes that happened because of the changes in consumption patterns of the people so consumption trends in india are evolving due to rising income so with economic growth the per capita income of um, of the country is also rising as the income increases the uh, consumption patterns also change people demand uh, you know better goods right uh, urbanization is also increasing lifestyle changes and greater awareness about nutrition so these are some of the factors which are changing the consumption trends in our country now what are the key shifts that we have seen during this period uh, recently uh, from cereals to diversified diets so decline in per capita consumption of rice and wheat so people are now eating less of rice and wheat and eating more of fruits vegetables milk poultry processed foods right more nutritious foods then the second is protein and nutrient micronutrient focus growing demand for pulses for protein content eggs dairy meat due to health consciousness urbanization impact urban consumers prefer convenience foods and perishables shifts from coarse grains to processed grains okay so these are some of the um, shifts that are happening because of uh, you know various reasons and also ultimately leading to changes in consumption pattern now impact on cropping pattern now because of this changes in consumption what are the changes on cropping pattern okay so how we know that the demand is coming from consumption so cropping pattern is responding to that now what is the first one is basically uh, you know horticultural expansion so peop, uh, farmers are growing now more horticulture products especially in the peri urban areas farmers near urban areas urban centers shift to vegetables and fruits for better returns rise in dairy linked fodder crops because demand for dairy products is also increasing reduced area under coarse cereals and pulses during green revolution only now being reversed okay so the coarse cereals meaning the ragi jowar bajra production had reduced during the green revolution time but recently it has again increased because of the increase in health consciousness and people are now knowing the benefits of these coarse cereals also demand for pulses is increasing contract farming is also coming up export uh, right and export uh, driven floriculture medicinal plants like aloe vera uh stevia in specific zones so these are also um the important uh, factors like contract farming exports affecting the cropping patterns right uh basically affecting the consumption now influence of marketing conditions marketing infrastructure and procurement incentives play a decisive role in shaping cropping decisions right so we saw first what are the impact of consumption patterns right and now uh, we are seeing what are the impact of marketing conditions also so consumption is basically a demand side factor whereas marketing is basically a supply side factor for cropping because uh, farmers will make decision as to which crop to grow depending on what are the marketing conditions how they can market their product how we, how they can sell their product so it is a supply side factor right supply side factor what are the key trends recently msp and government procurement focused heavily on wheat and rice we have seen this in the previous video also incentivizing farmers in punjab haryana and uttar pradesh to grow more of wheat and rice lack of market for coarse grains and oil seeds marketing is poor for coarse grains oil seeds it is not same as for the same as that for wheat and rice it led to reduced area despite their ecological suitability this we have seen in the previous videos also but this is just you know in a different context we are studying here and i want this to repeat so that you know uh, this completely 
gets into your uh, gets into your memory gets into your habit of looking at things when you think about indian agriculture okay so you will see a lot of repetitions maybe in these videos of indian agriculture because everything is interconnected so please uh, be patient with this uh, but this is an important topic for the exam so i want it to be completely understood by each and every one of you right from different angles uh, so the next thing is growth of private mandis and contract farming encouraging diversification in some states example potato and tomato in bengal punjab etc so these are some of the marketing conditions that helped now what are the examples sugarcane expansion in maharashtra and up due to assured buyback from the sugar mills kind of contract farming basmati rice gained ground in haryana and punjab due to export potential basically uh, you know consumption demand export consumption demand and private procurement also now what are the various uh, uh, you know government policies or how government emphasizes on certain crops uh, which result into changes in cropping patterns so government policy may favor a particular crop and may not favor a particular crop because you know because of various political reasons also socio economic reasons also we'll see that policy emphasis on uh, policy emphasis shaping cropping patterns government interventions um, uh, you know like msp minimum support price input subsidies research and development also procurement policies have historically emphasized a few crops like rice wheat and sugarcane okay so government policy have uh, government policies have a very major impact on cropping patterns we have seen this what are the impacts area under pulses millets and oil seeds declined post green revolution rice wheat sugarcane triangle emerged in the north india horticulture and floriculture growth driven by national horticulture mission contract farming expansion in fruits and vegetables example pepsico in punjab for potatoes right so these are some of the examples of government policies which influence the cropping patterns emphasis on millets production and consumption millets are nutri cereals known for climate resili resilience and low input needs so government is promoting them now recently it is gaining prominence reasons for renewed focus why government is focusing again on this nutri cereal this shri anna this millets nutritional benefits are there rich in iron calcium uh, fibers address uh, these address malnutrition problems lifestyle diseases uh, low glycemic index for diabetes so again you know people who are on diet and you know want to control the lifestyle diseases they are preferring millets climate resilience survive droughts poor soil they require minimal water important for rain fed and tribal areas um, you know so that's why government is focusing on them there is a policy push international year of millet was declared by the united nations in 2023 inclusion in pds the public distribution system and mid day meals so you know under the icds program which is the integrated child development schemes uh, in some of the states this millets like ragi laddu and you know ragi um you know the hot cooked meal which has given to the children in anganwadi centers so you know ragi khichdi and you know soup all these things are also included msp declared for seven millets though procurement remains weak so procurement is not done directly by the government but msps are declared then various millet missions it is launched in karnataka odisha chatisgarh and telangana now market development uh, millet based snacks flour ready to cook meals entering urban shelves fssai eat right movement promotes millet for sustainable diets these are some of the examples which you can use in your answer writing okay so that's why i have put it here what are the resulting shifts states like karnataka odisha rajasthan they have shown increased millet acreage uh, people are growing more and more of uh, millets now ragi jowar bajra in these states because of government policy uh, shift or push towards these crops reviving traditional cropping systems like millet pulses rotation because this increases soil health improves uh, the uh, soil health and you know micronutrient in the soil so there is a government push towards it and people are responding well also so this was a small video uh, i hope you have understood about um, the effect of consumption pattern the marketing condition and also the government policies so consumption pattern is basically a demand side factor marketing uh, is basically a supply side factor government policies can be both demand side and 
supply side okay so it affects in both ways so we have seen this um, briefly here this may be useful in your answer writing uh, we'll continue on uh, indian agriculture in the next video also thank you